Adam Smith is often referred to as the father of economics. His emphasis on the role of self-interest in motivating economic activity is especially important. Self-interested behavior of both the business and the suppliers of resources result in the greatest amount of economic efficiency possible. The market system guides resources into the production of the goods and services most desired by society. It enforces use of the most efficient production techniques while encouraging new production techniques. The market system encourages skill acquisition and hard work through positive incentives like income. Entrepreneurs and workers are free to make choices based on their own self-interest. Command economies that previously existed during the Cold War have since failed for several reasons. Failures along the supply chain were common because one factory's output was another factory's input. A failure at any step along the way would cause a chain reaction. This became more difficult as the economies grew. There were no indicators of success like in a market system where we have profit or loss to indicate how successful the business firm is, thus low quality products became the norm. Lastly, there were no price signals to indicate more or less of a product was desired resulting in surpluses and shortages on a regular basis. To illustrate why the market system succeeded while the command economy failed, we look to the circular flow system. The circular flow model is a simplified dynamic economy of continuous flows of goods and services, resources, and money. This simple economy consists of households and businesses, and there is no government. We'll add this in later. Households are the owners of the resources, selling their resources in the resource market, and income flows into the households. Households are the ones who buy the goods and services in the products market. The prices that are paid in the products market are determined by supply and demand. Businesses buy the resources providing income to the households. Businesses buy the resources to produce goods and services that are then sold in the products market to the households. When firms sell their products, the money that they receive is called revenue. Another illustration of why command economies consistently fail or market systems succeed is by looking at a deck of cards. The number of possible ways to arrange a deck of 52 cards is so large that it is incomprehensible. Imagine the number of ways to allocate resources. The reason we do not have random outcomes is because of private property and people's abilities to make decisions about their own property that will make themselves better off and not worse off.